got your attention. Something about fires. Whew. I want to talk to you guys about something that is very common in firefighting when it comes to choosing the firefighter path. I knew I wanted to be a firefighter for a long time. Honestly, it started out for me wanting to be a smoke jumper. If you're a smoke jumper, let me know because that's badass. And I didn't know where to start. And that might be where you are. You don't know what path to take. You hear red card, you hear fire one, you hear fire two, paramedic, EMT, hazmat ops, all this stuff. And you're like, all right, where do I even start? First off, get your EMT. Because once you have your EMT, you'll be able to apply for a lot of the big city fire departments. Get that EMT and then you're gonna hit a crossroads though. Because once you have your EMT, you apply for the big city fire departments that will put you through a fire academy. They'll pay for you to get your fire one, your fire two, hazmat. They might even send you to paramedic school. If you wanna go work for a smaller fire department, badass, do it. But you're gonna to have to have your fire one, your fire two, hazmat ops, all that kind of stuff to even go or to even apply. So you gotta to think to yourself, do you wanna go work for a big city fire department? or do I go work for a smaller rural fire department? And that's gonna decide if you choose to go to college to go get your fire one, fire two and all that stuff, or if you're like, I got my EMT, I'm gonna start working as an EMT, and I'm gonna start testing for, for the big city fire departments. Getting paramedic will help you, but you've gotta know where you wanna work, because sometimes the big city fire department you wanna work for doesn't even run ALS calls. So know where you wanna go, know where you want to work, and let that dictate if you go to get your fire one and fire two after you get your EMT. Chime in below, ask me some questions. Thanks guys, I'll see you on the big one.